Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Uzbek Unleashed campaign. We are conquering the world. We are glorious. We are the best. This patch is really good. It's a good patch. Game is getting kind of easy. I'll say that. Uh, do we border them yet? We do. Okay, so... We're going to co-belligerent Jin, who will call in no one. Shu, we're also going to co-belligerent. Just go smash his face. We have to conquer the rest of Asia, right? It just makes sense. I have no army in position to siege that down. Actually, there was another stack here. You head to Jin. So you ended up at war with quite a few people. Fairly sizable army right there. He doesn't want to engage me, though, which is a good sign. We've already breached the walls, so I think we'll just wait. We are going to engage this army here. And it's worth three war score. There's a lot of troops there. A 15 stack versus some of these could be problematic. We could lose. So let's actually consolidate back down to a 30 stack. This will be worth quite a bit of war score again. This is your capital, so we'll go siege it down. Just for the sake of pissing you off. And you've just engaged a much, much technologically superior force with an equal number of troops. It's just such a horrible idea. I don't know why you thought that would work out for you. Yeah, let's engage that army. We have to take this fight because it's worth war score. Easy, easy, easy war score. We can get... Get up to 40 rank right, right away. Tried to reinforce the mountains, didn't work out for him. These war score these battles should not be worth war score. I feel like it's still bugged. It should just be point point two two, not three point two two. I remember reporting that bug ages and ages and ages ago to Wiz. Like, hey, anytime you're using a CB that has um, show superiority, it's just adding an erroneous plus three war score. It's weird, and uh, yet it's still in the game. Whoa, Islamic center of scholarly learning. Hell yeah. We'll bump our stability up a little bit, even though uh, how, how's the overextension looking? It's gonna be a while. It shouldn't give you that much war score. It's messy. It's, it's weird that it lets you do that. So I'm thinking that we're probably going to want to be separate piecing people, um, even though it's going to cost Diplo. I think we're, we're to the point in the game now. I wonder, maybe if we took... We already have full diplomatics. So we have unjustified demands for production, don't we? Uh, or did that get changed at some point? What was the one that modified unjustified demands? Was it influence? Yeah, we need influence. Because if we have influence, then we can take land from people in secondary pieces, and instead of paying 3 dip per province, we could pay 1.5 dip. Sorry, 3 dip per development. Is it worth doing an entire idea group just to reduce that? It would certainly speed up conquest. Fabricate claims doesn't matter. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be okay. That would be good. Policies. More diplomatic reputation if we need it. Vassal Integration Act. Administrative. So we could do... I think influence is probably a very good idea group for, for world domination type playstyle. We don't even need the money. Like, we're doing fine on money now. We're strong enough that we can field armies on multiple sides of our country. And uh, we don't need... We don't really need to make more men. We could. I think influence would be an okay idea group. Plus, we're ahead of time on, ad, on uh, Diplo anyway. 
I'm very close to being able to unlock the next idea group. I think I'm gonna do that. Alternatively, we could take like a mil another military idea group. Get some more combat strength, but do you think I don't think we're gonna need that to beat the, uh, the Westerners? All right, so you, if we can, we'll just separate piece. So wait, even if I don't ask for your money, you're not going to say yes? That's just rude. Okay, we're going to ignore any cost that we see when it comes to Diplo, because we know that if it costs that much, we're going to raise at least enough to cover the cost. So, whatever. You know? The aggressive expansion is really the only downside. Ooh, that's a fairly sizable coalition that we'd be looking at. Yeah, I pissed these guys off a lot. I didn't... No, I did... I co to Jin. Jin. Okay, so if I sue you for peace, it's 6.3. If I negotiate for the land with you, it's only 3.1. So, it's twice as much. We, we do need to just negotiate the, with a war leader. For now. Until we're to the point where we just really don't care at all about aggressive, aggressive expansion. Which, uh, we're not at that point yet, by the way. Um... Eighty-six war score. I think we're good. Okay, so we do that. Um, we take your coast. And we just do this. Well, I co-belligerented shoe though. It's only ninety-six over extension. Unfortunately, the war score cost. I pretty much have to separate piece shoe. That's almost five aggressive expansion. No, it's twice as much. I'm not going to take the, uh, the extra aggressive expansion. So yeah, that's what I want. I just want to take land from you, I guess. I guess there was really no reason to 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 do this. I think we separate piece you. Uh, that gives us a shorter truce. We do make Jin go away. I don't care. We should be co we should be separate piecing everyone that we don't plan on taking land from. So Liang, you need to go away. Liang and Cheng Shang. That way, in five years, we can take a ton of extra land from them, again, with reduced over aggressive expansion. We gotta use the travel CB. I really don't like that change, by the way, that uh, you can't separate peace people for zero dip using the CB against them. Without having that minus, huge, huge minus to our aggressive expansion, it's, uh, it's a bit much. So yeah, we separate peace you. Once we get this other siege here done, then we can piece you out. Still not willing to piece out, huh?
Okay, well, we almost have enough horse score to do the peace deal, but we need a separate piece. Oh, your capital's right there, okay. So, occupied and besieged provinces should force you out. We're done with you. Now we talk to you, and we take 97 war score, we take all this stuff. It's 25 aggressive expansion. A little bit of an issue, you know. It's a lot of development that we're taking. I mean, look at these provinces. 27, 6, 16, 16, 20, 26. Oh well. And we're almost at the Diplo point cap again. I think, um... I think I'm gonna hold off on raising. Maybe maybe we can wait just barely long enough. Oh uh, shoot, overextension's kind of high. No, we can't wait. Alright, well let's sink some points into uh, the diplomatic conversion, even if it's not adjacency. Oh, by the way, this is going to piss everyone off. Everyone that has this culture. I don't think it gives us aggressive expansion, it's just going to give us opinion malices. Which is fine. Um, that's enough. I want to save some Diplo because we're going to do... In we are definitely going to do influence ideas. That's going to be the way we go. It's a pretty good amount of stuff. Well, hopefully I didn't do my math wrong and we're not actually over 100%. I guess we'll find out in a moment. 102.4. That's not good. Wow. Uh-oh. Well, that's the first time we've uh, had too much aggressive ex or too much overextension. Let's see what happens. We're going to have double progress on our, rebel on our revolts. Beijing's very upset. Um... Shoot. You know what? I'm not willing to risk it. I, I'm gonna create a vassal or grant land to a vassal. Who can we grant land to? Well, if we tried to create Jin... Jin has too many claims. Let's, uh, let's just take a look here. We can create Yan from Beijing and Hijan. We've already been trying to convert Beijing for a while, though. Uh, Croatia. All right. Wasn't the plan that I was going to create Croatia anyway? It's a little bit late now. Blotsk. Chin, Syria, Kaffa. No, I don't want to create any of these. Pate. Where the hell's Pate? I know there was a culture, a core down there. Well, let's see. Beijing, we've already been coring, right? We can get half our points back. I just know we're going to have some really, really nasty events if I allow this to pass. So I'm thinking, yeah, we do this one. Now we're fine. Of course they're no longer a valid rival. They never were. Okay, we've been at war with you and you and you. No, we haven't been at war with Chu. We don't have anyone that borders Yan. Uzbek South China. I love it. Wu. We have a truce with. Liang, we were just at war with. Changsheng, we just peaced out. Shan. We have not. Okay.
Longzhang. I think we consider... I think that counts as a border. And yes, we have not fought them yet. They have a lot of allies. Not that they matter. We'll fight him first. Just so we get the ticking war store started. War score started. And of course the uh, initial 13 war score from battles is nice. So, Chu. Why don't we attack Chu? The sooner I attack all these people, the better, because then... Uh, well, then we don't have to worry about the coalition getting any any bigger. Like a couple of Ming and and that's it. I couldn't I couldn't do these other guys. But again, we could separate piece them. Take like a hundred percent. The problem is that these guys are all gonna have cores on a lot of this land. So if I keep doing this, then we won't actually be able to finish the cores. It's too bad I can't just get a free claim on everything. I don't want to manage the diplomats to do claims. It's just not worth the time. Yes, we could have been maxed a little bit harder and we could get more money and whatever from doing that, but... I want to... make this happen. Oh no, Savoy has internal conflicts. We do have 68 war score now, and I don't plan on taking any land from him. I would like to separate piece Lana, if I could. But it's going to be a long time till we, till we fight them anyway, so let's just try to get this peace deal done. We'll have to do a little bit more, a couple more battles before we can get them to actually accept the surrender. That'll probably do it. Yeah, we'll just do the smallest amount possible. Um, so that the truce is short with the other guy. And again, this may have actually just put me over the, the limit. I wasn't paying attention to it. 98.4. Okay. Um, yeah, we will core this. Do we want to immediately go to war with you? I think probably... We could take Diplotech. I don't really want to take Diplotech, though, because we're going to do Influence. I think, yeah, we just just keep on, keep the ball rolling, keep keep the uh, the truces online, and, you know, go from there. Now, when possible, we want to separate peace people. Keep the five-year truces down. Gives me more opportunities for expansion. Because in five years, we can do all kinds of stuff. And the nation of jean is asking that I come and join them. You want me to fight all of that? No. I'd rather not. No, I'm totally the defender of the faith, I swear. I'm just not going to actually defend the faith. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. Um, I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.